Hello all the viewers, in this video we are going to discuss about what is hernia, what are the types of hernia, what happens if hernia is not treated at the right time, what are all the treatment options available for hernia, can hernia be treated through medicines or through any procedure or does it require a mandatory surgery and what are all the available options in surgery? What is the difference between an open hernia surgery and a laparoscopic hernia surgery? So let's dive into the topic. So what are the treatment options or can this hernia be treated with medicine? The answer is absolutely no because few structural defects because this is a mechanical defect kind of this is a manufacturing defect so that has to be closed or repaired surgically only there won't be any role of medicines in treatment of hernia so what generally happens in an open surgery is wherever the hernia is there will be a big incision given over that part and the tissues or uh, as we discussed in the initial slides the tissues are separated and will be placing a small mesh to cover the gap in open surgery this is the same thing which is a uh, live example kind of thing where the instrument uh, the tissues have to be retracted to get access to the inside organs whereas uh, what will be the end result of an open surgery that leaves a very big scar and this incision needs regular dressings so that the infection doesn't happen and because the incision is large enough it has to be closed with stitches or what we can see in this picture is staplers. So whatever it is, these staplers or stitches needs removal and regular dressings to prevent infection from happening. In the same way, what is the advantage of laparoscopy? In laparoscopy, there won't be any big cuts as such. How laparoscopy happens is, in laparoscopy, we will be inserting, we will be giving a very small incision, maybe hardly 1 cm or 0.5 cm incision. And through that incision, we will be inserting a camera, what we commonly refer to as laparoscope. And this laparoscope will be connected to a light source. And through this small incision and camera, we will be able to see what all is happening inside the abdomen from outside. And this laparoscope camera will be connected to a monitor. And so what all is happening is inside can be visualized through this camera onto a monitor like as we are seeing so through this guidance one incision one hole will be for the camera and rest one or two holes will be for working ports that is equivalent to right and left hand as of the surgeon and the rest of the surgery will be performed as per the needful so what will be happening in a laparoscopic surgery so suppose this is the gap in the muscle through which the intestines are coming out so what we happen what we generally do in laparoscopic surgery is the intestine which has come out is positioned back into the abdomen and to prevent this hernia from happening again we'll be placing a big mesh which will be wide enough suppose even if the hernia is very small the mesh which we place in laparoscopy will be very big enough to such extent that from each side of the hernia there should be a minimum overlap of 5 centimeters in all directions so that even if this hernia increases in size there shouldn't be any recurrences as such so the mesh overlap decides the success of hernia surgery so if we compare side by side comparison of what will be the cosmesis or big size of the scar after a laparoscopic surgery and an open surgery this is a patient who underwent an inguinal hernia open inguinal hernia surgery you can see a very big scar in this added to it you have got staples which has to be removed in the post-operative follow-ups whereas when it comes to laparoscopic surgery if you can notice keenly or if you can zoom you can see this is the site of incision or this will this is how how big the size of a uh, incision in laparoscopy will be and if you keenly notice there won't be any stitches or any staplers like this over here because we will be closing all these wounds with something called as a skin glue that is equal to fevicol kind of thing because the incision is very small we need not have any stitches or staplers as such just by placing a skin glue the patient recovery will be too good and what are all the advantages with this laparoscopy is first factor is pain because the incision is very small so what are all the advantages with this laparoscopy first point is the pain 
the size of the incision is very small so the pain will be also less and second part will be infection the size of incision is small so the chances of infection are also less and no bed rest required as patient can walk on the same day after laparoscopy and the ultimate advantage will be the cosmesis cosmetically it will be very good as most of the people will be having no scars on the abdomen and most important return to work there won't be any need for any bed rest as such and as people can resume activities much earlier than in any open surgery thank you